Cindy Palmer has suffered for six long years not knowing how her daughter Tiali was killed. The 12-year-old's body was found washed up on the banks of the Pimpama River in 2015, but it was so badly decomposed a cause of death couldn't be determined. Despite eventually pleading guilty to her murder and admitting he did it to protect his son, convicted killer Rick Thorburn has never divulged just how he ended her life. But for the first time today, he told a coronial inquest he smothered the schoolgirl during a struggle. Reading a note he wrote in prison years ago, Thorburn said, She started screaming at me. I told her to stop. I put my hand over her mouth. I must have accidentally suffocated her. Through tears, Thorburn told the court he was truly sorry for what he did. Thorburn told the court he had a breakdown in prison about 12 months ago and couldn't remember anything since then, including writing the note. Deputy State Coroner Jane Bentley questioned his memory loss and the credibility of his evidence, saying the note wasn't very reliable. Shortly after reading his jail note confession, Thorburn erupted, swearing and threatening to walk out before a prison recorded phone call was played to the court. In it, he told his wife, Julene, if the inquest didn't go his way, he will just tell the court he doesn't recall what happened and will take what he knows about the murder to the grave. Mrs Thorburn and their two children, Josh and Trent, also gave evidence but maintained they were kept in the dark about how Tiali was murdered. The inquest is expected to conclude tomorrow. Talissa Saganto, ABC News, Brisbane.